What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for Tuesday's main MLB <laughs> DK slate. All right, guys. So, all right, let's get into it, guys. So, if you love DFS like I do, guys, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, so that way you can get the notifications when the uh, when I post my videos. All right. So today I'm gonna bring you my fire for today's MLB slate. All right. So on the screen, guys, in case you didn't know it, here goes um, MLB.com, guys. So. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but there's a lot of good information on here. So, like, one of my favorite games on the slate is this Oakland-Texas game. They're playing in Texas. The heat is up, and uh, it's a ballpark where we can get some some balls flying out. So, if you click on it, you can go ahead and get some information about the players and stuff. So, if you can see right here, you got batting averages and at-bats and uh, BVP versus the, uh, the particular pitcher. And then you got ERA and how many Ks they have on the season, their winning uh, loss record. And so just a lot of good information, and I don't know if people know about it, but uh, as you can see, Chris Davis has three home runs versus this pitcher, Hamels. So Chris Davis will be in my in my uh, player pool for sure. All right, but anywho, just want to show you guys that. All right, so let's get into my top picks, guys. And I have a surprise for you at the end of the video. So if you stay tuned in the video, I got a surprise for you. So, all right, but as on, on the screen, guys, you can see my top plays. All right, I like Tanner Roark, all right, because um, to be honest, man, the pitcher slate looks kind of yeah. – uh, iffy to me, but um, I like Tanner Rourke in a uh, pitcher-friendly park, or extreme pitcher-friendly park. I believe San Francisco is at the dead bottom. Yeah, ANTT Park is the best park when it comes to pitching. So, all right. So I like Tanner Rourke and his chances of putting up some decent um, points in uh, can a San Francisco team that doesn't hit that well versus right. I believe they only have a couple of lefties in their lineup. Yeah, at the top, just two. All right, but. Um, there is a miles power wind going out, but again, this is an extreme pitcher's part, but I like Tanner Rourke considering the other pitchers on the, uh, slate. So, all right, next up is, uh, a catch. I like Yonder Molina. This guy here has six home runs on the year. As you see, he's starting a little bit of a heater right here versus Cincinnati. Um, uh, but I like this guy. Uh, if you look at his splits, he's played three games versus his team, 12 at bats. He has two runs, four hits, uh, OPS of one, two, eight. I uh, got a couple of home runs, all right? So, and only one K, one strikeout. So, I like Yonder Molina in this uh, spot, playing at home. All right. Uh, actually, I like a sneaky St. Uh, Louis snack, but uh, a stack, I mean. So, but next up, I'm going to go back to Kike Hernandez. Again, he had a good night last night. All right. Put up 20 points. He had a home run. Three, uh, I believe he uh, knocked in a couple of people. So, uh, 20 points is pretty good. Uh, now that score, that game was a low scoring game, as you can see right here, two to one. All right, but this guy here put up some good points. But uh, I like Kai Hernandez again at his his uh, his price range and his uh, Woba versus the pitcher handing it that he's facing again. All right, Travis Shaw, he's in another good spot. If you look at this guy again, he's been on a little bit of a heater, 26, 11, 22, 6 in the last couple of uh, games, and uh, he has four home runs, ten RBIs, average of two eight nine. But uh, I like his chances versus uh, Kansas City. All right, they're projected to put up like five runs, I believe. All right, so let's go look at that. Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Passed him up. Good job, Curtis. All right. So right here. All right, they're projected to put up 4.6 runs versus Kansas City, guys. And uh, he's hitting in the meat of the order. So, and this uh, righty-lefty matchup. So I like that. So I'm going with Travis Shaw at 4K. Again, hoping he gets another home run. All right, a couple of RBIs. All right, a couple of hits. All right, so I like Travis Shaw's spot. You know, again, you play him in that lefty-righty matchup. All right, lock him in. All right, DeJong, I like him, guys. Again, another power hitter, guys. He has seven home runs on the uh, season and 13 RBIs. But you see his average is down at uh, .260. But I like him in this matchup. Again, he's had success versus his team. Um, three games, 11 at-bats. As you can see, he struck out a lot. But he had a couple of home runs. But I like his chances of, of putting up a dog today. And so I'm taking a fly with him. But uh, this is a GPP play right here, guys. All right, with DeJong. But, again, like I say, if you look at the guy, he has high upside, man. And yeah, he strikes out a lot too, guys. But he could put up some some points. But I like DeJong for a GPP play, guys. All right. Hernandez, another Hernandez, this guy here. He's been on another heater as well. Again, you see he put up 17 points versus uh, the Yankees. In another game, he put up 22. All right, so he's in another favorable matchup. Uh, 
as a righty going up against a lefty. And again, he has a nice Woba versus this particular uh, pitcher's hand in this. All right, Boston, that's Porcello, but we're playing in Toronto. All right, and Toronto is a uh, is a hitter park. All right, let me make sure. Toronto, all right, right here at the top. All right, 112, Rogers Center. All right, but again, I like this Hernandez at 3.2K. That's a nice, good price. All right. And then last but not least, in this Pittsburgh Detroit game, if it plays, I like Sterling Marte. All right. He's going up against a, a lefty, I believe. Let's see. All right here. Mr. Marte, right here. He's going up against a Zimmerman, a righty in Detroit. This team projected to put up five runs. Now, if you see there, are some weather concerns, guys. So keep an eye on this game. But if this game is. It's clear and safe to play. Um, I like Starlin Marte versus, uh, he has a reverse split of righty versus righty. All right. If you look at it, he has a 3-4-1 Woba versus this particular uh, pitcher's hand. All right. And then again, if you look at, go back to uh, DraftKings, look at the splits. He's played three games versus this team. Got a home run, cup RBIs, stolen bases, but he put up an average of 13 DraftKings points versus Detroit. So um, I like his chances of uh, putting up some decent points at 4.3K in a game that's projected to have five runs. So that's my top picks for today's guys. Uh, Slate, um, you know, for SP2, again, I didn't see a lot that I like. All righty. So, you know, you got this Robbie Ray, you know, who has some nice K upside, but, you know, what you going to get? You going to get the 22-point um, Robbie Ray, or are you going to get the 11-point Robbie, Robbie K? 29-point Robbie or 13? See the difference? All right, looks like he plays better. Yeah, let's see, away at home. Like he plays better away, and this is an away game, and the Philly game is uh, actually being played in a hitter park. So I don't know, guys, but SP2 is going to be a tough choice, guys. But to be honest, Morton seems like the safe play. He's been playing hot. He's going to go up against uh, the Angels, who um, today's pitcher did pretty well against. All right, but, you know. You can take a chance with uh, Charlie Morton. If you throw Charlie Morton in the same lineup right here, guys, at least 3900 for the two spots. So, all right, well, good luck on today's slate, guys. And here's my uh, my little surprise at the end for the people who stay to the end. All right, Draft Dashboard is an app that I use for my research. And as you can see at the top, I got Travis Shaw right here. He shows he's batting a point nine three two OPS versus righty. All right, but if you go into the uh, description of this video, there's a link for a seven-day trial for one buck. All right, so... What this will get you is access to my uh, player pool. So um, as I go through and select the players that I like, the players will show up in my watch player pool. And if you uh, sign up through the link in the description, you can uh, click on watch DK Addicts from your profile and uh, it'll load up my uh, picks. And then you can go into this lineup optimizer right here and let it optimize your lineup. Now, I suggest doing that as close to uh, lineup lock as possible, maybe 40 minutes to an hour before lineup lock. Once all the uh, lineups have been set and everything, but, um, and there you go. And there you go. You got a nice little old lineup there that it uh, has for you. You can click on save lineup. And then you can even go in here and you can download those save lineups um, and uh, export them to uh, DK. All right. And again, you can build multiple ones. So, all right. But good luck on today's slate, guys. And I'll holler at you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.